Y'all see how much I love y'all. Welcome to the inside of my nose as it dreams. What up you guys and welcome back for another vlog. You guys may hear me sound a little stuffy, you know, and nasally. Um, yes, cause your girl and the kids have come down with the cold. So we've been congested and um, stuffy nose and all that not so fun stuff. Um, so we've been attending some things here and there and trying to so social distance as much as possible, wear our masks and wash our hands and things like that. And you know, you can do all that things and still pick something up. So here we are, we are, we're sick. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a lot of the home remedies that we do often when we're trying to kick some kind of sickness in its tracks to the curb, get it out of our system. Um, basically, um, immunity boosting type things, such as a steam bath, a detox bath, and concoctions full of the not so nice stuff. <laughs> but we'll go over all that stuff. So stay tuned as we unfold everything that we do to keep our immunity up. Come along. So let's start off with this immunity shot or concoction that is filled with turmeric, ginger, garlic, onion, lemon juice, honey, and sometimes I will add some pineapples as well and blend everything up. I like to use all of these ingredients because of their well-known properties for antiviral and antibacterial use. So for the concoction, I try to um, let them take it like, let's say one to two times a day, three times will be more beneficial. I know that's stretching it, but it ain't no way my daughter is gonna let me take this three times a day. So I try to sneak it in like their smoothies and stuff like that. Um, Amir has no problem. My son like would douse this down. That's what I love about him. Like he gets over things quickly than her because he will take the concoctions that I give him versus her is just like a fight. But anywho, um, concoctions, another thing is that what we always do as well too. Sometimes getting a shot glass full of this to the kids just does not work and I have to refer to other things like making a smoothie out of it or some yummy popsicles, but just making sure I have those main ingredients in it as well. Keeping yourself hydrated is just overall important for your body's function. And in this case, drinking a lot of water when sick helps to loosen up mucuses and helps to flush out toxins out of your body. And drinking tea is a good way to help facilitate that as well too. So the kids don't have an issue with drinking tea, especially if I add a little bit of a honey or agave for a sweetener. In addition to everything, I like to give them these lozenges filled with zinc and elderberry. So for bad detox, I always use some type of bad salts. And usually I love when there are infused with like eucalyptus oil and peppermint oil, but this is like a, such a, an extra treat when it has like clove in it. I also have some of these little um, bath balls that I picked up from Walmart. And normally I use this one, but this is something new. So we've been trying these out. So when it comes to these salts, these are more for like relaxation, trying to help you go to sleep. But this one, of course, is definitely the one that we're gonna be using the most um, with the eucalyptus oil and the spearmint. It's easier for me to just take one and pop it inside the tub for the kids versus um, the bath salts. Um, not to say that I won't use these, but I'm definitely gonna be using these as well. And maybe I'll use them in combination with each other. I just have to use a measurement cup when it comes to the loose kind versus the one I could just you know pop in a tub for the kids so normally I would try to do that often with the kids because when it comes to the other stuff it's hard for me to get them to actually take it well more of my younger daughter Zena to get um, her to take like the concoctions and the steam baths that is just not gonna work so the bad detoxes you know with the bath salts are easier for me to use properly because um, it doesn't require them to try to ingest anything. So that's always a good one. Getting enough rest is just very important to help your body fight off any infections or anything that's going on. And with kids, you have to force them to take like a nap and get rest because they will be jumping up and down and playing like nothing is wrong with them. 
When they're sleeping, we like to use a diffuser to help them breathe better. And with that, we will use like eucalyptus oil and also the peppermint oil, which are both good for respiratory issues. In addition to using a diffuser, I also like to use a chest rub or the Vapor Vicks. You know, your old school grandma, your mom used to just rub you down from your nose, your chest, all the way down to the soles of your feet with this stuff. So I just like to just continue with tradition. It worked for me when I was a kid. So I'm going to do it again with my kids as well, too. And sometimes if I need to use like an a suction to kind of get in there and suction things out of their nose, we also use that as well, too. For the steam bath, I'm actually going to insert some clips that I previously recorded about the steam bath and their benefits and the reason why I do them, okay? So here we go. Steam baths have been around for a very long time and there's so many different variations to them. The one we're gonna be sticking to is the one that helps relieve symptoms when it comes to congestions and clearing up mucus from your nasal passageway, your throat, down into your lungs. The basic ingredients of the citrus steam bath is using sea salt and pills from such things such as an orange, lime, lemon, grapefruit, and preferably a sour orange. In a medium to large pot, fill it three fourths of the way with water, bring it to a boil, and then add all of your pills and about a tablespoon of sea salt. Bring everything to a boil for 15 minutes and then turn your stove off. This next step is optional, but I like to add eucalyptus oil and peppermint oil to the pot when it is not boiling to let all of the steam take everything in. Using a large towel, you want to hover over the pot and close off any areas where the steam can escape. As the first time doing a steam bath, especially if you're using the essential oils, things are gonna be pretty strong up under the towel. So start off with taking three to five long, deep breaths and then come up for air. Once you feel comfortable with doing three to five breaths, try to progress to 10 breaths before coming up for air. The ultimate goal is to be able to stay under for at least 10 to 15 minutes. As my own preference, I like to use the same pot for two consecutive days before discarding it. All I do is reboil everything and then add the eucalyptus and peppermint oil towards the end and just follow the same process all over again. And after that second day, just throw everything away. Man, it is so minty up in the hair. And it feels so good being outside because like the wind is blowing so I don't feel over hot or anything, so. Ooh, I can see the steam so foggy right now. But anyway, this is kind of, I know it's dark under here, but hopefully I can see something. I'm trying to keep my eyes closed because it, you know, I don't know if you ever had like that minty feel that goes into your eyes. It's not the <laughs> best one in the world. So I usually take like three breaths. Uh, well, I start off with three breaths. So smell, like you smelling the roses. A little kiss, long breaths in your nose, out your mouth. Was that two or three? <laughs> I think this is the third one. <laughs> and then I just come up, take a little break. <sighs> y'all see, I'm crying. Oh, poor me. Let me do a couple of breaths so y'all can see it with some light a little bit. So smell the roses. Blow some kisses. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna close this back down, y'all, because I don't want to lose all my steam. <sighs> y'all. <sighs> trying to see. I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all see that drainage? <laughs> Oh, 
right, you guys, I just want to pop in and say thank you for watching the vlog. I hope you found this video informative. And if you do decide to try any of these home remedies, please seek medical advice from your doctor first before trying anything new. This is all based on my trial and error as we do with my kids and myself to see what works for us, what doesn't work. And, you know, I just kind of stuck with the things that actually help us to boost our immunity and, you know, help us get over any sickness that we come across. So as always, thank you for watching and we shall chat on the next video. 